talking about boat balance, this is pretty good here. We've got a bit of breeze. Look at that. It's lovely. When you stop steering it, just let it go by itself. If it wants to come up into the wind, what do we call that? What's the terminology for it? Weather helm. Right. If it wants to turn away from the breeze like that, what do we call it? Lee helm. Right. So weather helm, lee helm. A balanced boat won't have either. So to, as we see with our setups, get your boat balanced, set up your jib as per the, the tuning guide that we've got from Phil Burgess. Set that up, set your boom up, your leech gap, your leech twist, and then we're going to work with the main. Set the main up as per the rigging guide. You put your boat out in the water. And, uh, what's the first thing we do when we put, we boat, put the boat out in the water? Running downwind, and what, then what do we do? Eh? Check, the, check the rudder centre. Thanks, Tony. Run the boat downwind. Get a goose wing like that. Take your hands off the control, off the steering. Boat must go straight. If it doesn't go straight, um, adjust your, your steering trim. If you're sailing downwind and you have to adjust that way, if you have to pull it to starboard to get it to go straight, if you're adjusting like that, just hit that one, hit your trim once. And if it hasn't straightened up, just do it again. It should only be one or two uh, trim. You've got your rudder. If you haven't got your rudder centre, when you get out there, you'll go on one tack. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be coming. Have weather helm be rounding up, and uh, on the other tack, she'll be, she'll be bearing away. You'll have lee helm, and you'll, you'll be saying, "What's going on here?" If we've got too much power in the main. It'll do what it's doing now. If we've got too much power there, it'll push the boat up into the breeze and even make a tack. If you haven't got enough main on, then you'll have too much on power on your jib relative to the main and it'll push your bow around. But if you look at the leech here, if your leech is really open like that, you can see that opening and closing. If it's really open like that, you, you won't have enough power in your, in your main and you'll have lee helm. So what you're doing is if you've got weather helm, then you want to depower this main a bit, adjust your vang and let a bit of that leach out, let a bit of the power out of the main. And it's only like a quarter of a turn on that vang, you put it back in the water and sail it again, bring it back in, maybe another quarter of a turn. This is just for your basic setups. It's a bit more sophistication as you get moving along, but that'll get you balanced. You want that balanced boat, you want to be able to sail it out there without touching the rudder. You want to be able to look around. Now just remember when you're balancing your boat and you're looking for the balance, the boat needs to be up to full speed. You need to be going like 10 or 20 metres in a constant breeze. You want to give it a chance to look, look and feel balanced. If the wind's going all over the place, you're not going to pick up whether it's balanced or not. And if you just do it while the boat's accelerating, try to get itself, everything, all the, all the wind and everything balanced across the sails, moving freely, then you need 10 or 20 metres at least for that to happen. So don't, you know, don't just put it in the water, sheet on, oh, it's rounded up, it's done something. Let the boat, and you'll see the boat moving along. Any questions about getting these boats balanced? It's the number one thing. It makes, makes racing, makes sailing, everything so much easier. You can't just... If you're sailing along today and your boat's over 30 degrees, heeling right over like that, you have to depower your rig. So if it's a gust, then you're going to drop your sheets a bit. Just drop them out one click or two clicks. You know, something like that. Just a little bit, just drop them off. See if you can try to get the boat to stand up. Because once, once it's leaning right over like that, she's just slipping sideways. And you may think it's going fast, but the boat is beside just stood up a bit with his sheets eased. He'll be just going up, up to windward and uh, he'll be miles in front of you. If you're sailing a light breeze, sailing along your boat just sits up like that. What's happened? Yep, you've sailed into a knock. That means your boat's pointing too high. You know, you've sailed into a knock, so the pressure's come off, the efficient pressure's come off the, the rig. That's number one. What's the other one? Sailed into a lull. Yep. So when that happens to in the light breeze, how do you figure out whether it's a knock or it's a, just a little lull, a little light patch on the water? How do you figure that out? Look at the other boats, Marcel, exactly. 
have a look at the boat in front of you, have a look at the boat behind you. You know, if you're all sitting there and it's, you know, the water's all, you know, you know you're in a, you know you're in a light patch. If the bike in front of you has just put his nose down, you've seen him put his nose down, you know that you've got the, you've got the knock. So that's where you've got to head. But in both cases, if your boat sits up and slows down, steer your boat down, steer your nose down a bit, get a bit more power coming across the rig. Avoid trying to tack when the boat's not moving because it won't tack. If you haven't got water coming across your rudder, it won't turn. And you see a lot of guys are going to a light patch and they see some, some uh, movement on the water a bit over here and they try to tack across to it. Just remember by the time you get to that patch, it'll be somewhere else. So if your boat stopped, don't try and tack it. Just be patient, let your sheets out a bit, put your nose down a bit, just try and sniff the wind. Mike Jeffries, terrific. Watch some of those Springfield Lake uh, uh, videos. He's, uh, he's a master. He, all, he just takes off all the other boats, still <laughs> off he goes. Dude, don't forget to do your bas basic manoeuvres today out in the water. Go around those marks. The breeze is up a bit, so practice going around those marks. Practice, uh, you know, easing your sheets as you come around that top mark. And practice doing your circles. Practice doing your circles in this breeze because this will um, help you coordinate your your rudder and your and your sheets. Because you want to be able to do it smoothly. That's your testing. That's that's the test for you. How smoothly can you do it?